for this opportunity, first of all. Uh, uh, since we don't have too much time, I will not uh, really focus on uh, myself. I'm just a professor in another University of Turkey and I've been doing a lot of work regarding MOOCs. And today uh, I am here with you uh, to be able to uh, sort of introduce our uh, mod IT project. Real title is Curricul Curricular Modernization of Modernization by Implementing MOOCs Model. Uh, basically, what we are trying to do is uh, these uh, five institutions from five different countries, uh, FHM from Germany, uh, University of Polytechnica uh, Timisoara, uh, Kaunas University of Technology, my institution Anadolu University, and again, University of uh, Polytechnica Porto. Uh, we, are, uh, we came together uh, to be able to explore the possibilities of transferring MOOC-based pedagogies or integrating MOOCs or MOOC-based pedagogies into uh, formal courses or programs. That's uh, our major goal. Uh, through this way, we are hoping that, you know, in online learning, one of the problem is um, grab the attention of the students. So we are hoping that uh, through this uh, online uh, pedagogies, MOOC-based pedagogies, we will be able to uh, make our courses more and programs more attractive to the students. We have, as you see, three uh, objectives in this project. First of all, uh, we would like to uh, sort of increase the awareness of uh, higher education educators, uh, awareness uh, and their skills about MOOCs and MOOC-based uh, pedagogies. Uh, also, uh, we would like to develop some meta, some models where about how we can integrate uh, MOOCs or MOOC-based pedagogies into curriculums or courses. Also, uh, we also would like to uh, increase the awareness among learners uh, about use and uh, use of uh, MOOCs. And in our projects, uh, we have actually three major outputs. One of them is uh, about an online self-assessment tool. Uh, what we wanna do is uh, we wanna start with this need assessment tool. We wanted to create a mean for educators to be able to assess their skills and their knowledge regarding MOOCs and MOOC-based pedagogies. Later, uh, after this assessment tool, we wanted to create uh, a MOOC about how to integrate these MOOCs or MOOC-based pedagogies into, uh, into uh, our courses or programs. Uh, right now, we are actually in the process of de des designing and developing this output. And finally, we will be uh, using this, uh, this training uh, to redesign, to train the instructors in higher education institutions and uh, help them redesign their uh, courses and programs. We will be sort of helping them uh, through this process. Meanwhile, between this online self-assessment tool and uh, the, the MOOC that we are creating right now, uh, we also conducted a designer's training uh, for, the, for those who are helping us to train, uh, actually to design this online, uh, online, MOOC, uh, online course or MOOC uh, for the uh, instructors. Uh, so uh, at the beginning, we thought we can, everybody can come to Anadolu, our city and um, and conduct this training face to face, but unfortunately, because of the pandemic, uh, we had to do it online. So it went very well, and we trained at least two uh, two designers, instructional designers from each institution. Now, in this uh, presentation, I will briefly talk about the online self-assessment tool, the first intellectual output that we focus on. Uh, thanks to our uh, colleagues from Kaunas, uh, 
uh, they did an extensive, extensive desk study. Uh, they went over the uh, literature and prepared us a list of competencies or skills and um, yeah, competency areas uh, for us. Later, we, uh, each institution, conducted focus group studies with the participation of experts, local experts in our institutions and in, in our country to be able to evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of these uh, competencies. We wanted to uh, identify which competencies um, <clears throat> were, uh, I mean, we should be including into our uh, tool. Later, after we conducted, each institution conducted these studies separately, but later we spent a lot of time to consolidate these uh, results. And at the end, uh, we prepared our tool. And now we are piloting it. In terms of our self-assessment tool, we have identified 27 pedagogical or technical competencies, and we classify them into five areas. Uh, you see those uh, areas. First one is pedagogical competencies for designing student-centered learning. We identify six uh, in, this, uh, group, in this area. For example, activity-based learning or competency-based learning. We think these are, uh, these are uh, related to uh, general student-centered learning uh, competencies. And we, in, in the second category, we uh, identified again six uh, MOOC-based, MOOC-specific competencies. For example, assessment of large groups, large, uh, large cohorts of students, or learner motivation, um, as you may, you may all know, uh, 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 retention is a big problem in MOOCs. So uh, there are some studies and there are some competencies instructors should have to motivate their learners to retain and uh, complete the courses. And uh, in, uh, the third category is the technology related competencies like online communication, learner analytics and so forth. Here again, we have six different competencies. Uh, uh, the fourth one is about uh, related to foundations of MOOCs, some theoretical foundations like openness independent learning and that kind of you know general uh, theoretical basis of the MOOCs and the final at the final section we have some competencies for the for the integration integration of MOOCs or MOOC based pedagogies into formal learning processes and uh, as you see we have these 27 competencies we identified them but then there was a problem of uh, defining those uh, competencies, because everybody, even among us, each uh, partner had different ideas about uh, the uh, meaning of those competencies. So we have, we had to, uh, we spent a lot of time and we had, we had to come a conclusion with sort of a common consensus on each definition. So we have a really nice um, sort of artifact of our, uh, this uh, effort. Uh, we I, sort of, we did a small uh, dictionary of the major uh, competencies uh, re related to these uh, competencies. And then for each competency, we used Bloom's taxonomy to develop uh, six statements that shows the level of the uh, instructor regarding the taxonomy. Uh, there was an, in, again, interesting uh, idea, I think. And uh, we, again, spent a lot of time on that. But at the end, for each uh, competency level, we have now six statements that show the user's level of uh, comp level, level regarding that competency. So this is the general picture of it. And uh, we actually 
created it. Uh, it is in now uh, our uh, Kaunas, uh, Kaunas partner um, uh, is uh, hosting this tool. And it, as you see, this is the uh, URL. Uh, I will like to uh, share, we just finished actually creating this tool uh, and it's almost ready. Uh, we prepared a, a user guide for those who would like to attend. And uh, as I see, we have more than 300 uh, participants here. I am hoping that you will all uh, go to this uh, website uh, and this tool and uh, try it out and see uh, if you're uh, try to see your levels. Uh, we are integrating this tool with the course. So at the end of each category, we are tell this tool is telling you that your level is this and you should be taking this course at that level. So it's the integrated process. We integrate a tool with the course that we are produce, pro, uh, producing right now. It's not complete yet, but now if you go there, you can, uh, you can learn your uh, level of uh, level, uh, levels in each uh, category. I would like to uh, stop this presentation now and show you the, uh, the, the, um, the, the user guide actually, uh, so that uh, when you go there, uh, you can have, or you can have a, uh, you can see it is how it looks like. Uh, well, again, this is the URL. When you go there, it's a Moodle-based environment and uh, you have to introduce yourself, first of all, into the document. Uh, there are different languages. Uh, there's, uh, I think the user guide has, uh, we, we haven't translated into Romania or in Turkish, but it will be soon. Uh, you have to register the system and at the end, uh, after all this registration process, uh, you will reach the, this areas, area of competencies. You have to go uh, each area separately and learn your level uh, regarding that area. Uh, and at the end of please uh, complete all these five areas. And at the end, we have this uh, pilot testing uh, evaluation form. Uh, if you can help us, uh, by uh, testing your level and uh, filling out this evaluation form to improve this tool, we will really appreciate. And that's from my side, Vlad. And now Vlad will tell you, will uh, sort of elaborate uh, what we are, we are doing in terms of the output too. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Hakan. It was very interesting uh, to, to find out about, for our colleagues, I'm sure, to find out about this presentation, about this project. And uh, if you don't mind, as we discussed, I will switch to Romanian for my part of the uh, presentation. Așadar, e vorba de un proiect care și-a propus să ajute comunitatea cadrelor didactice în dezvoltarea de cursuri și de materiale de tip MOOC. Din nou, este, cum să zic, genul de proiect care poate ar fi fost mult mai util dacă se făcea cu câțiva ani în urmă, astfel încât atunci când pandemia a lovit, deja să avem o masă mare de cadre didactice care să beneficieze de astfel de abilități de pregătirea materialului didactic. Despre ce vreau să vă vorbesc eu în cadrul acestui proiect este uh, programul de uh, training online, programul deschis, e un curs practic, care își propune să sprijine cadrele didactice în preponderență universitare, dar cred că este foarte benefic și pentru mediul preuniversitar să uh, pregătească și să livreze materiale de tipul MOOC, să-și regândească uh, propriile cursuri astfel încât acestea să se adapteze mai bine pe specificul unui curs MOOC. Practic, programul vă va învăța să gândiți și să structurați un curs MOOC de la, de la zero. Este un program structurat în cinci module independente 
și bazat pe platforma educațională Moodle, cu care foarte multe cadre din România sunt deja familiarizate. Cele cinci module ale, proiect, ale programului, fundațiile învățământului online, designul unui curs de tip MOOC, producerea de conținut de tip MOOC, livrarea unui MOOC și integrarea MOOC în învățământul formal. Deci acestea sunt cele cinci module care pot fi urmate independent sau ca un program întreg, una după, unul după altul. Câteva informații despre fiecare modul. Discutăm de module gândite să dureze aproximativ 12 ore ca workload, ca durată de, de lucru, cu lecții gândite să adreseze o competență specifică rezultată în urma acelui test, acelui self-tool self pe care l-a prezentat, self-assessing tool pe care l-a prezentat Han. Se face practic o potrivire și vi se recomandă care din aceste module vi se potrivesc cel mai bine. De asemenea, procedural e vorba de învățământ individual și autonom și se merge mult pe varianta de unități mai mici de învățare pe terminologie de învățământ bite-size learning, adică bucăți pe care pot să le iei dintr-o singură, buc o singură bucătură, să zicem așa. În fiecare din aceste module va, vor exista în principal 5-6 videouri de maxim 3 minute fiecare, cu documente, cu quizuri, cu referințe externe către resurse suplimentare și cu o activitate practică de tipul assignment. Pentru cei care vor urma întregul program, la final vor putea să livreze ca proiect un curs MOOC de 20 de ore, și uh, durata întregului program ar fi de 80 de ore, deci dacă se urmează întregul, toate modulele și proiectul acesta de MOOC și vi se oferă oportunitatea să vă dezvoltați idei pentru propriile MOOC-uri, să uh, lucrați cu conținut de tip prototip, se oferă un certificat de absolvire al acestui program și se oferă și badge-uri independente pentru fiecare modul. Câteva uh, concluzii. Acest program practic a fost gândit pentru a reflecta uh, Bunele practici din cele cinci țări partenere, printre care și țara noastră, reprezentată de, de noi, de Politehnică, ceea ce duce la uh, o inovativitate crescută și la um, șansa de a avea o transferabilitate a potențialului de uh, creștere a personalului didactic mult mai bună. Uh, ca impact, uh, acest, uh, urmarea acestui program uh, e așteptată să contribuie la creșterea abilităților didactice și pedagogice ale participanților, mai ales în ceea ce privește integrarea cu pedagogiile de tip MOOC în învățământul tradițional. Deci cam acestea ar fi informațiile despre acest curs. În principiu, în această primăvară se va, se va, se va da drumul la... se vor deschide înscrierile pentru acest curs. Va fi pe, pe o platformă Moodle și dacă urmăriți platforma, platformele noastre sociale și site-ul e-learning, cu siguranță veți afla când va fi deschisă această platformă și când vă veți putea înscrie și chiar vă încurajăm să participați. Eu vă mulțumesc că aici aveți și datele mele de contact.